Okay, so in this video, we'll be creating our inner pages of our website. So, in the previous videos, we were discussing about the home page and the important parts of it. But of course, it's so important that you build other pages. Again, unless you're building a one page website, which in actually in many businesses can be just enough. But most businesses need separate pages for different things, like, for example, pricing page, about us, services, contact, etc. So, all the templates usually come with some standard pages that you have and you can easily see all of those pages in the page button there and you can see here we have the appointments the pricing the services the service detail page so if you have multiple services you can just list them like this contacts thank you page and you know you can build whatever pages you want and how do you actually do that uh, we watched already but by clicking on add new and there you have the option to build a new page and there you have all these amazing designs that we already created for you. So you don't have to build this type of, of pages. We have pages for lead generation, for, for new even home pages as well. So we have a lot of designs for different home page um, type of uh, you know style that you want to have. Uh, if you want to want to host a webinar page, a checkout page, if you're collecting payments, a product page to highlight a specific product. You have all these designs here. So let's just create an about us page, for example, because we don't have yet uh, such page in our website and uh, we can like some, some of the designs or you can start with a blank one if you want to start and just add block by block. Um, so if you don't like any of the designs, uh, but yeah, let's select one that already has a design and we can customize it. And in general, what kind of pages do I actually need for my website? That's a, that's a good question. Uh, depending on your business and depending on what you're doing. Uh, there is no right or wrong question, uh, but don't add pages that just for the sake of having those pages uh, or have them, but don't have them in the navigation. Add the things that you think a person would need. Uh, you can add some, some more into the uh, footer area of your website. Uh, but in the header add the most important parts which is if you're having a yoga studio the most important probably is what kind of a schedule do we have what kind of courses do we provide who we are our location where we are located because these are important parts that the person might need and the contact of course uh, but again it depends on your business then you can fully customize the page again however you like so you can adjust all the design elements to, to your page uh, and uh, you can add whatever you know, blocks you want into that into that page itself. So this way you can create as many and different pages as you want. In our case, uh, we are trying to accept appointments. So the consultation type of a page we already have created. So we can just slightly modify. So not book a consultation, but uh, schedule or uh, join a training class. And here we can have our booking and appointment scheduling tool that you can adjust from, from this area. But again, it depends on what is your business uh, idea. So if it's not a booking, then it might be a form that you want them to fill with certain information. So if that's not the thing, you can just uh, delete it. In our case, uh, we can just uh, drag another form here. So instead of having this, uh, um, this booking, we can have a form. And in the form, you can add whatever fields you like. So in the, actually in the next videos, we'll be discussing about exactly forms and appointments, the two really awesome ways of having lead generation. Uh, so you can add whatever fields you want, like add you know, multiple different questions to collect enough information that is needed for your business. And you can, of course, style and customize the whole form itself. You can put it in the middle uh, and, and add you know, other cool uh, interactions with it. And you can adjust also to not be on top of the content. So you can play around and customize the page however you want. Again, it's all dependent on what exactly you're trying to collect from the user, if it's lead generation or sell a product. Uh, so in this case, we do have uh, the, the appointment and you can adjust it from the appointment area or from here, edit booking. Uh, so yeah, what other pages? The contact is very important. The contact page is a way for your users to communicate with you. Uh, if you don't have like a live chat on your website, um, which you can actually add by going to website settings, custom code, and every live chat is providing you 
a script a script that you can copy and add into your website so all you need to do is paste here the script that is being added and that will add that live chat to your website when you preview it in your uh, in your browser uh, but if you uh, want people to just submit their question here you already have a contact page or if you don't you can just start a new one and here we have great designs for contact pages uh, but yeah here we already have one you can uh, customize your you know email information again this is text so you just highlight it and um, modify it however you like if you have open hours just change it if you don't you can just delete this area and don't have uh, uh, open hours this is the form again that is predefined with this exact template but if you want to customize it just double click and adjust what kind of fields and questions you want to ask uh, but this is very important contact us is an important page it might not be for the header again it depends on what you're trying to to do your customers if, if it is important for the contacting uh, you or then you can of course add it at the bottom as a call to action there so people can navigate to that area uh, when you're ready again don't forget to click on save changes to save what you have created you can have like services if you want to list all your services and people can easily navigate there and see that you have this and this and this service uh, like in this case we do have some kind of services uh, different options here uh, a different option for more detailed uh, way of presenting a service um, in our case it might be a course instead of a service because we have a yoga studio in this example uh, but yeah, you can here create uh, and customize it and have a dedicated page for each each course, for example, or each service that you have. And that's why this design in particular comes with a service detailed page. So it is a page that is already, um, you know, uh, created that you can use as a starting point for a specific service. And you can simply duplicate that for all the other services that you may have so service one service two service three so you don't have to build it uh, again and again you can just duplicate it like we just did the settings duplicate and if you don't want it you can just delete this page as well uh, so this is how you can create your inner pages again it depends on what kind of business you have and most templates they usually have with some default ones like contact services pricing etc and yeah just identify what kind of uh, pages you want to build and if you haven't checked out the first video there we discuss again about uh, the cheat sheet and um, the different services uh, the, ser the different pages that you may have and where you can just structureize what structureize what exactly you want your visitors to see and find and make sure that the most important parts uh, that you want people to be able to navigate easily to be in the header option and if you want to do like uh, maybe services and have a few services inside you can easily do a drop down which you do very easy so when you have a page let's say we add a service page uh, 2 for example just for the sake of it we can have a service detail page let's say 2 and you want to put it as a, as a drop down under service so you just drag it and put it on the side and you can see it becomes a submenu so when somebody uh, visits so you can preview it when somebody goes on top they can see more options for navigation under services they can see the different uh, the different pages there so yeah just a quick tip of having more into your header um, of course you can add even more advanced things such as mega menus but we'll have a dedicated video exactly on how to do that but yeah here is a mega menu that you can add when somebody overs on top of your uh, pricing in this example you can have a whole line like this that shows so this is really cool uh, let me just show you how it looks actually so we can go and go on top of pricing and you can see this whole area shows so you can present a lot more information to just a simple drop down like this you can ho have a whole mega menu it's called uh, that you can build like a normal page actually so this is pretty awesome as well um, and yeah this is this is it dinner pages whatever you need for your business but it's super simple and super easy to create duplicate and start with the already you know predefined designs for pages all right so talk to you in the next video where we'll be discussing mainly about the two main um, lead generation options which is forms 
how to build forms, how it is connected to your CRM, uh, and, and other cool things that you'll be able to do there. And of course, the appointments to create our first appointment and how uh, it can be linked uh, to your website and uh, how to have group meetings, one-on-one -on -one meetings, etc. So check out the next two videos which are about lead generation. Thank <music> you.